Okay, so here's one more uh, graph that we, oh, actually I think we already looked at this, but um, so how is this created? We said that I, I, it used, uh, I think it was called x plot, xy plot. Here it is, xy plot, which is not part of the standard uh, R package, so you have to download it. And uh, I guess uh, this makes some nice graphs. Uh, so uh, we can explore that maybe later, or you can certainly explore it. Uh, some of the things are, are uh, familiar, like uh, here. And um, as we said, this determines that we're going to have a 4x4. Four four. So uh, you might want to make this kind of plot and uh, be able to uh, show it to management. So uh, let's, let's take a look at it and analyze what we can see. So. Uh, so actually, mm, it might be interesting to separate the dots uh, versus fireworks and no fireworks. Uh, maybe you can see patterns that you can't see otherwise. Like here, although there's only three triangles, they are there is a kind of increasing pattern. Now it's very hard to say that with just three d points, but it's a very clear linear pattern, at least for those three points, um, which means that when it's a uh, night game and it's cloudy, which is weird, wh why would you have fireworks then? But anyway, if it's a night game and it's cloudy, as the temperature increases, we get more higher attendance. That's a kind of weird set of circumstances. Well, it's a little hard to uh, figure out, but uh, it might be of interest. It might make some sense. Uh, I don't see any particular patterns, even if we separate out the triangles and uh, dots here. Uh, and um, here there's only one dot, so you can't find a pattern for that. But here, there is a definite or a fairly definite pattern that we can recognize that it's kind of going down like that. So uh, at least we can say that uh, w when it's daytime and it's clear, as the temperature goes up, attendance goes down. So that's an interesting effect that we would want to consider. So basically what we're doing here by making a plot, say just this one plot, is uh, we're taking some of the uh, categorical variables, like is it nighttime or daytime, that's a categorical variable, and is it clear or not, that's also a categorical variable, clear or cloudy, I guess. Um, and we are we're setting those to a particular value, like in this case, night and clear, and then observing uh, temperature versus attendance. So we could say that uh, all th uh, night and, or what should I say, uh, what's the, well, uh, what is that called? What's that variable called? I forget what they called it, but we'll, I'll call it like the day-night variable. And I forget what this was called, but I'll call it like the weather variable or something like that. So for the w uh, when the weather vari I'm sorry when the uh, day night variable is set to night, and the uh, weather variable is set to clear, then we get this picture. Or maybe we might say when the day night variable is set to day, and clear is set. I'm sorry, the weather is set to clear, then we can see a pattern. A relationship, a clear relationship between temperature and attendance. So here's another graph. Uh, this is the one where we have uh, attendance on this axis, and the different teams that were played uh, on the y axis. Let me just make this bigger, but you can see the attendance is here, and the teams are here, and uh, white is day and black is night. So let's make it bigger now. Okay, so you can, uh, so this is going to be interesting. For example, here, like this one, the Padres, this says Padres. The Padres, there was a kind of quite a bit of spread in uh, the attendance. And also, I'd say, uh, say for here, there was quite a bit of spread. And here, there's a quite a bit of spread. But if we go to the Nationals, here, we see that for some reason, the nationals get uh, high attendance. 
So uh, we can conclude that when the uh, Dodgers are playing the Nationals, attendance is going to be relatively high. And the same thing with the Angels down here. Now, I'm not much of a baseball fan, so I don't know why this would be, but someone who is a baseball fan would probably know that. And also the White Sox up here are also fairly high. So this kind of uh, uh, analysis uh, comparing attendance to this variable, which is the team variable, the opposing team variable, uh, is also useful, although um, because there are so many different values, or w as we say, levels for this team variable, opposing team variable, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, all these different values, right? That makes it hard with a uh, limited, if we have limited data, which we only have about 120 games or something like that, if there's about 15 values here, uh, 15 levels here or more maybe. So that makes it difficult uh, if you to um, to run a good regression, so it might uh, might be hard actually to include the the team opposing team variable, even though it does seem to be important. But because the data is kind of limited, it's going to make it a little bit messy the results. But one and the author says just ignore it. But one thing we might do instead, I don't, I think it it occurs to me that it might be good is we could have, uh, I don't know, we, let's see, what can we do? Well, at least, this might not be the best thing, but at least we could have like a, a variable called hot teams or something. And uh, so if it, like Mets is one, that's kind of hot means they draw a lot of attendance. Angels is another, and uh, what was the other one? Nationals, I think, was another, and so on. So we could have it, be a yes no variable is it a hot team or not so uh if it's nationals or mets or angels or whatever else we include in there um then that will be yes and otherwise it will be no and then it's only a basic the we have a variable called hot teams and um then it only has two levels yes or no not all these different levels and so then it might i think it would be good to include it in the uh, in the uh, linear regression model. So actually, I'd like you to try that. Um, in addition to the code that he provides us with, I'd like you to add in an extra variable called hot teams, which will be yes or no, and uh, see if you can improve the predictability of the uh, algorithm or the regression model uh, by adding in that in. So tr figure out how to add it in and then add it in and then test it and see what you get. And what I mean by what you get is does it improve the R squared in the regression which we'll look at in a little while.